Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are, you? How are you? Fine, and you? Ready to start. Just waiting for how was your How was your day? Oh, I've been pretty busy, my friend, because you I had to do a lot of things. Really? Yeah, but, but I'm here. But this is a good teacher because you have a good job. Well, thanks to God, uh, I, I, I've been teaching for more than 18 years in different levels. Ooh. And every class that I give, I learn something new. Really, really busy, teacher. Yeah, really busy. But here we are trying to do our best in order that more people can learn how to speak in English and get a better life, get uh, better opportunities. And we are in this program, uh, trying to, to help all the people. It's a good teacher because yeah. English right now is very, very important. In yes, company. that's so true. Or when you travel, it is necessary to can yes. commun uh, hold a conversation with another people. That's really true, my friend. Yeah. Well, let us see the rest of people. Okay. Let me see how many we have, 10. We need to wait a little bit. Okay, I got 12. What about the rest?
Hello, Manuel Rodriguez. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Nice. Nice to see you again. Uh, excuse me? Nice to see you again. Ah, okay. Alexis Antonio, how are you today? Hi, good. How was your day today? Was heavy, was nice, was really hard. Nice. Was nice. Okay. Okay, before, uh, let me see. Before to start, I would like to know what do you do for a living? Do you have any profession? What do you do? In my case, for example, I can say that I am a teacher. I work in a high school and even in a university. 
What about you? What do you do? Are you asking in general, teacher? Yeah, in a general way. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I work to Fruto de Luna, El Salvador. I work, work in American Farm. And I work uh, as a supervisor, as a supervisor uh, packaging department. Okay. How long been there? Excuse me, teacher. How long have you been there? 20, 23 years. Jeez. The next, yeah, the next July, I am going to, uh, you're going to be my beard the jaw. <laughs> my, my beard jaw. It is okay, teacher. Cumplo 23 años. Ah, okay. 23 years. Yeah, yeah. 23 years. Yeah. I just start to job to work in 1998, July. A lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. okay, thank you for sharing your your information with us. Thank you. What about the rest? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Well, I am financial analyst and distribuidora salvadoreña. Okay. I started in this company three months, three months ago. Yes, nice. Um, I live with my parents and I am 28 years old. Okay. Only that. 20, 28 years old, right? Yes. 20, 20 years. 20, Eight. 28 years old. Years old. Years old. Okay. Perfect. Years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Yeah. Uh, years old. Okay. Okay, somebody else? Karen, could you turn on your camera, please, Karen? Okay, go ahead, Manuel. Uh, good night, teacher. Uh, my name is Manuel Rodriguez. I work in the Fruit of the Lumel Sabado. Okay. And, and my position is engineer, engineer of trainees. Uh, I'm 14 years of the the work of the of the enterprise. Okay. Uh, I'm 33 years old. Okay, nice. Thank you. Somebody else? Walter Mauricio, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It's a, a, day, a day difficult um, world. Uh, Mucho trabajo. Okay, a lot of work. ¿Cómo se dice? A lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, uh, my position is a pater assistant. Assistant. Pater assist. Okay. Yes. Uh, department. Department. Este. Department design, design. Okay, design. Excuse me, design. Okay. Design. Okay, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 
Okay. 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 Is Alexis Sandoval, I work in Cotegna, El Salvador, as a traffic agent. Traffic agent. Traffic agent. Agent. Okay. Somebody else? Good night, teacher. Good night. Uh, I work in Cotegna, El Salvador. Uh, I have been working for four years. No sé si lo dije bien. Yeah, uh, yeah. My, position, my position is system operation. System operation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Carla Marielos? Good evening. My name is Marielos. Okay. I work I work in library El Nuevo Siglo. Okay. I live in Toyapango. I am 24 years old. Okay, nice. 29 years old. 29 years old, okay? Okay, somebody else. What about you, Fausto? Good evening. Okay, go ahead, Roxana. Um, my name is Roxana. I work uh, in company, company industrial. Industrial company. Testily, testily inter, company, company testy industrial. Textile. Um, um, in the area, how do you say? In the area. In the her, in? in the area. In the area. Um, Department of Human uh, Resources. The Human Resources. Okay. Okay. Um, I live in, in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, with family. Nice. Okay. Somebody else? Hello. I need that all of you participate, okay? Fausto, go ahead, Fausto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Fausto Landa Verde. I work in, in a administrative office in Nuevo Siglo. Okay. Uh, my, my position is Bus uh, Warehouse. Uh, I am 34 years old. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. I need that uh, you keep in mind, we are talking about uh, occupation because we, uh, later we are going to relay uh, your occupation with something else, with the topic that we are going to study today. That is the reason why I'm relating what do you do for a living in order to relate it with the topic, okay? Okay, what about you, Christian? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Tenemos que hablar sobre lo que hacemos nosotros en los trabajos. Yeah, your, your occupation. Okay. Uh, document manager, eh, se podría traducir como gestor documental. Yep. Okay, I am document manager. I, I work for Technal Salvador. I live in Metapan. Okay. Stephanie, could you please uh, turn on your camera? Remember that it's mandatory that all of you need to have your camera on, please. Good evening, teacher. How are you? 
My name ah. is Stephanie. I am so um, promoter social. I am 34. Uh, um, or I like in Mexicanos. Okay, nice. Okay, let, 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 let me see how many of you are connected. I'm going to look for the attendance. Rosa Esperanza? Rosa Esperanza? Is present? Present. Okay, nice. Genara Inés Garcia? It's not here. Margarita Stephanie. Present. Okay, thank you. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Daisy. Present teacher. Yeah. Good, good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is My name is Ada. I working is in the area social. The social area. Okay. Okay. I live in Soyapango. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Diana Carolina. Diana Carolina is present. No. Wilfredo Guardado. Wilfredo. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I am here. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Leslie Fernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier Alvarenga. Edward Ademir. Este, Edward, teacher, eh, creo que no se iba a poder conectar el día de ahora porque falleció la mamá o la abuelita, creo. Okay, thank you. Okay. Christian Obdulio. Present. Okay. Uh, Alexi Antonio. Present. Thank you, sir. Felicita Cruz. Felicita. Helen Maria. Helen Maria. Ana Roxana Bautista. Present teacher. Okay. Fausto Antonio. Present. Carla Marielos. Present. Margarita Stephanie. Present. Eliani Alejandra. Eliane Alejandra. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. That is the attendance for today. Okay, we are ready to start. Today we are going to uh, talk about 
a different topic. I remember that yesterday I told you to to keep in mind yesterday teacher we saw we, we talk about mission and vision right yeah and yeah and i told you to before. to keep in mind and and take a look at what the vision and mission in your companies do you remember that yeah okay yes, okay. yes teacher okay nice today we are going to talk about another topic well, let me see where I have it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you in order that you can take a look at it. Just tell me if you can see it. Okay, yeah. today we are going to talk about the company identity. And this is our objective. I will be able to describe how my department relates to others in the organization. And we are going to start with number one. We already talked about your occupation or profession and, and it's really important to know exactly how uh, different departments are related in a company. And we have a question, what is an organization chart? Do you know what is an organization chart? Somebody could tell me something about it. Do you have any idea what is an organization chart? How do you call it in Spanish? Organigrama. Excellent. That is the name. Yeah. Why are organizations are important for business? Could you tell me, somebody? And the last question said, are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? If you want to answer one of this question, just write your hand and show me that you want to participate, right? Okay. Could somebody describe or tell me uh, what do you understand about organization chart? Excuse me, teacher. I'm asking you about the first question. I need that you tell me what is an organization chart. I guess, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I guess that is the, the position about area, different areas in, our, in any organization. For example, in my company, uh, we have a top banana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, below. Uh, yeah. We have different 
Mm. How do you say have facturas, teacher? Different mm. position could be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ma general manager. General uh, manager, yes. Manager. Okay. And then uh, head of human resources. Yes. Manager of production. Manager of production. Head of me me mechanic, head of packaging, head of. Uh, how do you say mantenimiento, teacher, in English? Uh, maintenance. Maintenance or. What is the name of? There is another name of, of the people that is in charge of, but all depend on the area where the the, 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 the person is working. But in this yeah. case, it could be maintenance. Okay. <laughs> After the supervisor, yes, many people that they are supporting um, about anything uh, uh, they can help help all supervisors we have yeah. training the training in the company they are all all the people that show uh, all to sew garment to the people and after uh, we have different areas below people uh, cleaning and okay. security. And about another question, teacher, why organization chart important for business? Yeah. Every, uh, all company, it have to be a good organization chart to get good result because if they don't have a good organization chart your result is going to be bad yeah that's excellent that yeah. means that you know exactly what you are doing in, in your company and you are really familiar with it no, i don't no, really no, appreciate no. your no I, your participation I'm, yeah okay somebody else Hola. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, Go ahead. My company, uh, my company, make it casual clothes. Um, are several still still is uh, to export. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, are Depart uh, have, uh, department uh, department manager the product different departments uh, in base que como se dice en base a based on what based on what um, at the close in base a O sea, lo que quiero decir es en base a los estilos. Uh, based on the different styles. Based on different styles. Um, <coughs> only. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. Somebody else? Please take a look at that with the picture that we have right here. And we have a organization chart right here. We have the flu manager, safety engineer, maintenance chief, supervisor, <coughs> maintenance personnel, machine operator, assemblers, truck drivers. In this case, we have only this position right here, but maybe in your companies, 
you have a, a different uh, organization share, right? Okay, somebody else? Uh, your teacher. Okay, go ahead. Margarita. Um, in the company, there are uh, one floor manager, okay. then five area managers. The areas are marketing, finance, finance, production, distribution, and bodega. What's the meaning? In my area, there are one financing manager, okay. one budget manager, and finally two financial analysts. Okay, financial analyst. Financial analyst. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, in order to continue, I would like to introduce this conversation that we have in the exercise number two. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with the pattern. Okay, I'm gonna read it, uh, so please pay attention in order to get the pronunciation of each word. He said, hi, Roxana, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. And the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica, nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see, I be part of my was the maintain, maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, now I need that uh, all of you read it but in a silent way you are going to read it and try to uh try to say it but just in mind just in mind i'm gonna give you two minutes in order that you can read it right Necesita que no lo traduzcamos o que se lo vean. Maintenance. Okay. Okay, we are going to, I'm going to read it again. Hi, Roxana, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica, nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see, I be part of the maintenance department. Will be responsible to you, great. Our department works together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing you department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, uh, I need I need uh, you 
I'm going to choose two students in order that can perform this conversation. Or maybe uh, it's better if two volunteer start doing it. I need two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Uh, you are going to start. Yeah. Uh, and, and even you can... Uh, Jessica? Yeah, you could be Jessica, but if you know the name of the another uh, person that is going to work with you, you can uh, draw that name and put the right name right here. For example, if I'm going to work with uh, Christian, I'm going to say, hi, Christian, welcome to Rex. My name is Mark. And the industrial safety engineer, and so on. Okay. Okay. I need two volunteers. Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Emmanuel. Okay. 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 Go ahead. I first. Okay. Uh, hi, Wilfredo. Welcome to Rex. My name is uh, Manuel. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Manuel. Nice to meet you. Uh, my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. Will, will I be responsible to you? Great, all the departments work together, but the maintain, maintenance chief is shares of directing your department. You will be responsible, responsible to him. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, thank you. Another couple? Me, teacher. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay, go ahead. Do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Hi, Jessica. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the Indus industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Stephanie. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. Uh, I be part of the maintenance department. Will will be responsible to you. Great, our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Stephanie. May I call you if need, need call? Sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, I need, you are going to repeat this word because I see that we are, we are having some problem with this word. Okay, repeat, maintenance. 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 Okay, repeat please, maintenance. 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 Okay, we are going to repeat the whole conversation. Okay, repeat. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Hi Roxana. Roxana. Welcome to Rex. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. My, My name, name is Jessica. Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Safety engineer. Safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. 
Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. My department is responsible. My department, My department is, responsible is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. For keeping the safety of the plan. I see. I see. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance. I'll be part I'll of be the, part maintenance. Of the maintenance department. Department. Will I be responsible? Will I be responsible to you? To you. To you. The, the whole question. Will I be responsible to you? Will I be responsible to you? I be responsible to you? Okay, again. Will I be responsible to you? Will, Will I, I be responsible to you? you? Great. 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 Our departments work together. Our departments, departments work together. together. But the maintenance chief is in charge. But the maintenance, maintenance in charge. chief is in charge of directing your department of, of directing, directing your, department. your department you'll be responsible to him you'll be responsible to him thank you jessica thank, thank you, you jessica. jessica may i call you if i need help may, may I, call I call you if you i need help, need help? okay uh let me see I don't know if all of you uh, have the manual. Yes. Yeah. All of you? Ya todos tienen el, el manual? Yes. 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 Okay, let me see. We have uh, 15. I'm going to break a room and I'm going to divide in let me see seven group of two and one is going to be alone with me and you are going to practice the conversation i'm going to give you uh three minutes in order to do it Okay. So please I need that you practice with the, the, the person that is going to appear with you. I'm gonna give you three minutes in order that you can do it, right? Okay. Let me see who is alone. So when I have fast oh, let me see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you Three minutes in order to do it, let me see. Two minutes is enough. Ok, 
Okay, join it, join it, please. Join it to your room. Unanse con su pareja que les corresponde. Christian. What is it? Do you hear the manual? Come on. Do you hear the manual with you? No, it's not there. No, tiene el, 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 la guía? no, 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 Okay, I need to know if all of you uh, practice that conversation. I have it here. Somebody wants to to help uh, Christian because Christian was alone, I guess, and and, and I saw somebody else. Okay. Stephanie. I was alone. Okay, Stephanie and Christian, could you please? Uh, Perform the conversation. Uh, Stephanie. La, la, la yeah, Stephanie is going to be Jessica, and you are going to be Ro Roxana, and you can use your own names. Okay. Hi, Christian. Welcome to Rex. My name is Stephanie. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Stephanie. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I discussed with my the department. Will I be responsible 
uh, responsible to you. Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance shift is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Hey, how are you? Is in your name? Sure, Christian. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you. Don't forget, if you are not participating, just mute your microphone. Okay. Now we have uh, four questions right here. And exercise three, say pair words, discuss this answer to the question below. Compare your answer with another pairs. Question number one, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plan? Don't give me an answer now. Number two, who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? And number three, who is Roxana responsible to? And number four, look, look at the organizational chart above who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? I need that uh, you work in pairs again, but I'm gonna tell you this in Spanish. Necesito que cuando ejecuto los breakout run a cada uno ya se le asigna con quien va automáticamente trabajando y debe de conectarse con esa persona para poder hacer el ejercicio. Teacher, tenía una consulta. Ok, tell me. Eh, fíjense que, bueno, nosotros nos unimos ahí en el room, ¿verdad? Con, pero teníamos la duda, no sé si... Este, de vez en cuando se podría tomar en cuenta que ciertas cosas las podría facilitar, facilitarnos a nosotros que tal vez no, no tenemos, como le digo, manejar bastante el inglés, ¿verdad? Porque en okay. algunas cosas me quedo así, pensati, eh, como le digo, eh, a buen salvadoreño en la luna, por decirlo okay. así. Entonces, okay. Este, okay. si nos podría ayudar ahí... A nosotros, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Perfect. Just, just tell me what you need and, and I'm going to hear. I'm here to help you. Solo es de que me vayan indicando en qué partes necesitan la ayuda y con gusto estoy acá para ayudarles. Y es... Como les dije al inicio ayer, si, si de repente voy hablando muy rápido, eh, pues solo me indican y me dicen, could you please speak slowly? Y pues ahí le voy bajando un poco, ¿no? Porque el objetivo es de que ustedes interactúen y que aprendan. Eso es lo más importante. Entonces no sé en qué parte le gustaría que, que hagamos un refuerzo. Sí, con respecto, yo creo que me perdí en la hora de que usted hizo los room, ah, este, okay. cuando hizo y que asignó las parejas. De... Ok. Mm, comprendo. Comprendo. Vamos a tratar de irlo haciendo que un poco más con frecuencia para que se vayan familiarizando con, con ese tipo de actividades, ¿no? Okay, right now we are going to do it in, in, in this way. Lo vamos a hacer así, quizá más, más fácil, más simple, para que no se me confundan. Okay, the first question, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plan? I need a volunteer uh, who give me the answer. 
It is industrial safety engineer teacher. Yeah. Based on that, based on the conversation that we have there. According to paragraph. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the answer. Okay. Yes. What about number two? Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Okay, before maybe to continue with this activity, I need to be sure that all of you understand what is the meaning of each question in Spanish. Antes de seguir, me gustaría que todos entiendan el significado de la pregunta 1, 2, 3 y 4 para poder buscar la respuesta en la conversación que ya hicimos. En la segunda le está preguntando que si tienes el que está a cargo de dirigir el personal de mantenimiento, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿De qué soy Jessica? Eh, Roxana le dice que ella como que va a ser parte del mantenimiento, como el departamento de mantenimiento, y ella será, eh, que le pregunta, ¿y será la responsable? ¿Y tú serás la responsable? Algo así le dice. Yeah, something like that. Who is Roxana responsible to? Is the question number three. Uh, Roxana is responsible to maintenance department. Responsible, okay. Okay, let us try again. And we are going to work in pairs. I'm going to assign it in a... Uh, But I need to stop sharing in order to make a breaker run again. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> I'm going to recreate it, okay? Let me see. I got 15. I'm going to give you a uh, two minutes. You know, that one is going to ask a question and another one is going to answer the question. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, here we go. Excuse me, teacher. Okay. Tell me. Uh, don't assign uh, the... Don't assign the... The co-worker in the room. Let me see. What is the number of your room? Uh, number four. Manuel Rodriguez. Yes. And Stephanie Menjibar. Okay. Eh, creo que tal vez Stephanie no está conectada ahorita, creo. Really? 
No, but I, I, I took only ask the people that is present. Tome en cuenta la, las personas que están presentes. No, no, eh, pero creo que no, no está, está en la cámara. Sí, está en la cámara, pero no, como que no, no está, está, como que no ah. se cuenta, creo. Ok, ok. Teacher, eh, aprovechando, yo no pude incorporarme el día de ayer a la, a la, a la clase. Eh, tal vez pueda agregar al grupo de WhatsApp, pero me comentaba un compañero de trabajo que hay que un grupo, creo yo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Al, al final de la sesión, eh, me brinda los datos para agregarlo, sí. Okay. Pero estoy en el listado de este grupo, ¿verdad? Mm, yeah, let me see. Manuel Rodríguez. Sí, Manuel Alejandro Rodríguez. Let me see. Francisco, Alexi, Helen, Fausto, Carla, Walter. I don't see your name here. Rosa Esperanza, Genara, Margarita, Karen, Ada, Diana, Wilfredo, Leslie, Franklin, Edward, Christian, Alexi, Felicita, Helen, Ana Roxana, Fausto, Carla, Marielo, Margarita, Eliani y Walter, Mauricio. I don't, I don't, see, I don't see your name here. Okay. I'm going to ask to somebody else. Yo estaba en la sala practicando y de repente me saltó y no sé cómo me pasé hasta acá. Ok, here we go again. Ok, what, what about, uh, ok, right now you get familiar with the, uh, you get familiar with, with the question number one, right? Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the person in the plant? In general way, just yes, give me an answer. Is Jessica. Jessica? Okay, number two, who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Roxana. Roxana. Okay, Roxana. Who is Roxana responsible to? <laughs> yes. Who is Roxana responsible to? Maintenance department. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And number four, look at the organizational chart both who are the safety engineer in the maintenance chief responsible to? Is Jessica and Roxana. Floor manager. He is floor manager. Ah, yes. Safety okay. engineer. Okay. In the, the, the maintenance chief responsible to. Okay, right here you have uh, some link that you can use it in order to increase your vocabulary and even this is an exercise. The name, uh, different departments and unit of the organization. And also you can find a video to practice creating an organization chart right here in YouTube. And we have a third one that is a video about useful language to describe your responsibilities in an organization. I need that you take a look of it in your free time, okay? Let me check up the attendance again. Veamos la asistencia otra vez, a ver si ya apareció alguien más. Let me see. Ok, Karen. Is, Karen? Yes. Ok, Ada Daisy. Present. Diana Carolina. Diana Carolina is not here. Wilfredo Guardado. Here, okay, uh, Leslie Fernandez. 
Present teacher. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. No present. Edward Ademir. Christian Abdullio. Okay, Alexia Antonio. Present teacher. Felicita Cruz. Helen Maria. Ana Roxana. Present. Fausto. Present. Carla Marielos. Present. Margarita Stephanie. Present. Eliani Alejandra. Sauxen. Walter Mauricio Morales. Walter Mauricio. Okay, that is the attendance. Alguien no nombre de los presentes? Mi teacher. Mi teacher. Manuel Rodríguez. Así es. Only you. Mi teacher. What's your name? Rosa de Girón. Let me, let me see the attendance. Let me see the attendance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosa Esperanza. Okay. Yeah, you are there. But Nelson, I can find Nelson here. Do you have another name, Nelson? ¿Cuál es su otro nombre? A quien no mencioné, ¿cuáles son los dos nombres? Rosa Esperanza, el mío. Eh, sí, usted ya está. Uh -huh. eh, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro, Manuel Alejandro. Rodríguez Molina. I can find it. It's not in, in Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro, no lo encuentro en la lista, caballero. Bueno, haremos la consulta respectiva. Okay. Okay. Los encargados, sí. Ok. Teacher, I have a question. Ok, ask me the question. Eh, en la lista tiene a dos margaritas, Stephanie, o solo una. Let me see. Let me see. Margarita Stephanie Gutiérrez Sánchez. Es que yo soy Margarita Stephanie Mengibar Contreras. Entonces, Let me see. para que no diga la asistencia una y la otra. Y... Yeah, Margarita Stephanie Mengibar Contreras. That's right. Pues en nuestro nombre diga el apellido mejor para que no nos confundamos. Ok. I do really Por favor. Start. Gracias. Ok. That's true. Okay. Um, before to go to the next step. Okay. Ask me the question. Este, sí, solamente tenía una consulta con respecto a la plataforma. Eh, ¿En qué momento? ¿Cómo va a ser la dinámica para nosotros realizar las, eh, las tres? Correcto. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, ustedes, después de que reciben la la clase, por ejemplo, eh, pueden entrar ya el, el, el siguiente día temprano, pueden entrar a hacer la tarea. No, no ir dejando que se les vaya acumulando para el final de, de la semana. Considero de que a estas alturas ya todos entraron, ¿o no? Sí, correcto, ya entré, pero... Sí, teacher. Eh, ¿Cuántas tareas serían por semana? 
Generalmente casi que va una por clase. Ok, gracias, teacher. Sí, porque si no se le van a ir acumulando y al final de la semana se le van a, va a sentir mucho. Pero okay. yo ingresé ayer y sale que la primera de la, de la, de la lección 1 ¿Sí? sale como que sí, un enlace para conectarnos. Ajá. No sé si es en la misma clase. Sí. Ajá. Este, ya de la 2 en adelante, sí, ya, bueno, del segundo cuadrito ya sí sale para, para trabajar. Para resolver. Ajá, exacto. Ok. Eh, el... No, no disculpe que lo interrumpa, no podría usted ingresar a la plataforma y explicarnos más o menos cómo es la dinámica. Es que yo tengo mis dudas porque creo que aparece tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3. Uh -huh. Mm, let me see if I can do it. Déjeme ver así, a ver si es posible que me deje que me deje compartirla. Este, teacher, excuse me. Ok, chame. Este, este, yo he tenido un problema, fíjese, de que a la hora de ingresar a la plataforma, yo intenté ingresar la semana pasada. Sí. Entonces, para, para, al parecer no estaba habilitada. Entonces, como no estaba habilitada, me ha bloqueado. Entonces, puede hacer que esté entrando tipo miércoles o jueves. Yo voy a tratar de ponerme a las tareas al día, hasta el día, el día viernes. Voy a tratar de hablar con el facilitador para que me proporcione por qué me ha se me ha bloqueado, voy a tratar de entrar, entonces tal vez tarea de hoy, de ayer y hoy, estos días, tal vez no la entregue, pero el viernes, este, primeramente Dios lo, le, le entregue todo. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Bueno, ¿cómo hacemos para mostrarles uh, el uso de la plataforma? Bueno, lo que, voy a, lo que voy a hacer es más fácil. Eh, voy a in, en, entrar después de la sesión de la clase y veré si les puedo crear un pequeño tutorial para explicarles y se los voy a enviar al, al, al grupo de WhatsApp. Y así espero ayudarles y ahí me pueden hacer las consultas respectivas. Una pregunta, teacher. Dígame. Eh, se, también se puede ingresar eh, mediante el link que nos envió vía WhatsApp. Eh, generalmente el, el, el link que aparece eh, creo que era para la para la para este para esta reunión para la conferencia ah, okay. sí pero ya buscaré la forma de que todos puedan accesar eh, eh, pero lo haremos a través del grupo de, de, de WhatsApp ok que okay, perfecto Gracias. Another question. ¿Alguien tiene otra pregunta? No. No question. Okay. Uh, before to go to the next exercise, I need that you take a look at this word. Responsible for keeping, be responsible is in charge of directing. What happened with this uh, with this bird? Could you tell me? ¿Qué sucede con estos verbos? Con el que tengo ahí sombreado. Con este otro. We using ING, teacher. ING, ok. Yeah. That is nice. Ok, we are going to talk about that. How to use ING form after preposition. That, let me stop sharing, and I need to share something now. 
it's going to be this one. Let me see, this one is going to be. <clears throat> Let me show. Okay, I have it here. Here we go. Okay, how to use ING for master preposition? That is the The main, the main part of this class. Okay, when we talk about IGNGs, sometimes we call it a gerund. Generalmente es, le llamamos un gerundio. Le voy a explicar de forma general. Ya luego en los otros niveles nos vamos a ir un poco más profundos. Is the IGNG form of a verb that function the same as a noun? La forma del ING de un verbo que funciona lo mismo como un nombre. Por ejemplo, running is fun in this sentence. Running is the gerund. It acts uh, just like a noun. You can only use a gerund after the verb. So yes, but in this case, uh, it's just in order that you can have a, a general idea of what the gerund is. But don't worry about the, the concept that we have there. Okay, when we talk about ING form, we are going to, to talk about different verbs that we are going to add these three letters, pledging, studying, giving, swimming, collecting, and so on. Uh, do you remember the rules in order to Add ING to bears. Alguien sabe las reglas de cómo hacer para cuando se le va a agregar ING a los verbos? Cuando son acciones que se están realizando en el momento. Mm. Sí. Generalmente eh, se usan para eso. Pero en este caso. Usaré... Finish the verb in consonant and before uh, there is a vowel. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, the last ing consonant. ING. Uh... Okay, I I. Uh, I think I think that you already studied something like that in the previous model. Is that right or not? Teacher, I guess that if the bell uh, finish in I, you submit. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how I can say you. Si el verbo termina en, en, en I latina o en una que no sea I, la submite. Okay. I'm going to say in English that. Okay. Last part. Yeah, and you, you can, you can say drop the letter, drop. That, that What is... I mean, drop, teacher? Ah, uh, se le. Oh, okay. Drop mean that, uh, for example, give. And in letter E, you uh -huh. drop the E yeah. and you are going to add ING. ING. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cuando but... termina en E, se le quita la E y solo se pone ING, ¿verdad? Okay, something like that. But later on, we are going to study really deep this kind of grammar topic. Okay, let us go. Okay, ING4, we made the ING4 by adding ING 
to the base verb and adjusting the spelling as necessary. For example, were, working, sit, sitting, smoke, smoking. In this case, this is one syllable. And N in a consonant, we need to double the last letter in order to add a G. But right now, the main purpose of us is to study uh, when we are going to use it after preposition. Okay, take a look at this. I need the, a volunteer read the third one. This one. Victor. Okay, go ahead. They are inter in studying archaeology. They are interested they are in studying archaeology. Studying archaeology. Okay, interested. Okay. Interest. Interested. 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 Yeah, okay, later on. Interested. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the second one. Stephanie or somebody else? They, they dream of becoming archaeologist. 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 They dream of becoming archaeologist. Okay. The third one. They are crazy about discovering ancient cities. They are crazy about discovering action series okay and the last one they are tired of digging in the sand they are tired they are tired of tired of they are tired tired of tired of digging in the sand okay okay. Uh, okay excuse me what i needed that you pay attention about this after this preposition in, we are going to use HNG. Of, they dream of becoming archaeologists. They are crazy about discovering about is a function as preposition to, and of is preposition to digging. But read this, uh, read the picture, please. It is possible to see it. They were very uh, primitive stones too. Crew pottery and just look at this mother. 28.8 kilograms, maybe. Okay, other expression, good at, bad at, keep on, bore, with, fed up, with, afraid of. But in this, uh, but in this time, what we need to take a look is just what we have in the in in, in the in the manual. If we want to use it where after preposition, it must be in ing form. It is impossible to use an infinity after a preposition. So, for example, we say, I will call you after arriving at the office. Not, I will call after to arrive at the office. This is the right way and this one is the wrong way. Please have a drink before leaving. I am looking forward to meeting you. Do you object to work late? Tara always dreams about going on holidays. Are you reading? Are you following me? Me están siguiendo con la lectura? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, I'm, maybe I'm going back to the manual. 
Okay, we got more example here. I need volunteer to read it. Hello. After having a shower, I waited for Steven. I waited for Steven. Okay. Next one. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. The table must not be taken before getting up in the morning. Okay, before before getting getting up in the morning. Getting up. Okay, getting up. Okay. okay. Getting up. Okay. The next one. I manage I manage it by working much longer than for 40 hard weeks. 40 hours week. 40 hours week. Okay, I manage it. Okay, next. Man manage. Manage it. Manage it. Manage it. Manage it. Okay, next. In spite of studying a, a lot, he did the past the exams. In spite of studying a lot, he didn't pass the exam. Pass the exams. Yeah. Okay. You need to look in your in, in your dictionary. What is the meaning of this expression in spite of? In spite of. In spite of, in spite of studying a lot, he didn't pass the exam. Okay, I, I need that you uh, write down some expression that you don't know. And later on, you can look it up in, in the dictionary. Okay, what about this one? Me, teacher. Okay. What was, what was her reaction on hearing the news? What was her reaction on hearing the news? What In the last day, he told the job without laughing. As you can see here, all this work. How how do we call to these black words involved? ¿Cómo le llamamos a las palabritas que están en negrías? Preposición. Ah, preposition, okay. Preposition, right? Okay, let me see what else do we have here. Okay, this exercise, I'm going to stop sharing. And we are going back again to the book. Right here. Okay, how, how to use ING form after preposition. Look at the question in exercise three and complete the statement below. That means that we need to take a look at the exercise number three. We got this one. We are talking about this one. And right there, we are going to use a verb plus The IGG after preposition like for or of in expression as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to. And to say who you report to use, be responsible to, be accountable to, to talk about your responsibilities, use be responsible for, be in charge of, or be accountable for. In your case, for example, I can ask you a question related to this. 
les podría preguntar, por ejemplo, algo relacionado con esto en su trabajo. ¿De qué es responsable usted? ¿O de qué está encargado usted? What could be your answer about this question? Usted me puede decir, I am responsible for, and then you need to add ing to the verb. I am in share of, and then the verb you are going to add ing, and so on. Después de cada una de estas frases, ustedes agregan un verbo y le agregan ing. Son responsables de, de coleccionar, eh, no sé, los formularios, de mantener el inventario, different kind of spare that you can use. It. And you can relate it with your working in the companies. Okay, let us go to exercise number five. Let me see if we have enough time to do this. Okay. Question number one. Who is responsible, responsible for? How is going to be the work in this space, in this gap? According to what we already studied. Supervising. For? Supervising the Super. machine. Supervising the machine operators. What is, it, what is the, the answer here? Uh, what is responsible for? Supervisor. Supervisor. Supervising. Okay, the answer has to be based on this uh, organizational chart about this one. Okay, what about the second one? Who is in charge of? Checking. Checking the quality of the product. The driver. The quality of the product. What is the answer? Auditor, auditator. Auditor. Quality, Auditor. quality control inspector. Quality control inspector, right? Okay. Number three, who is responsible for? Repairing. Repair. For? Repairing. Repairing. The problem of the machines. What is the answer? The machine is driver. The machine is operate. The machine operator? Yes. Yes. Machine operator. Or the maintenance, maintenance chief. Maintenance chief. Yeah. Okay, what, what, what about number four? <laughs> 
who is accountable, accountable for selling for selling selling the product what is the answer uh -huh. in the lamp department Financial Sal department. Financial department. Of sales, sales department. Sell the sales department. Sales department. Sales. Sales department. That is the one in charge. Okay, number four. Five. Right. So, selling the products. I need a volunteer who read it, please. Alguien que me lea la oración cinco. Who is in the charge of? Of? Who is in charge of? Who is in charge of? Assist the assembler. Assisting. 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 The assemblers. assemblers. Yeah, remember that after preposition, we are going to use ING. Okay. Okay, number six. Paul is accountable for managing. No. Managing. Managing the whole operation. World operation. The whole operation. Oh, the whole operation. 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 Okay, I'm going to choose one of you and you are going to select your victim. Voy a elegir uno y tú vas a elegir la, la víctima a quien te va a responder las preguntas. Sí, porque para que no se me duerman. Veamos. Iniciamos con Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Question number one. Ask the question to somebody else. Okay, teacher, I am going to choice. <clears throat> Let me check another partner. Walter. Are you over there, Walter? Okay, okay. Who is responsible? Will for... you help me, please? I am going to make a question. Make a question. Okay. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Mm. Question number one. Yes, yes. Who is responsible for maintaining supervision? Who is responsible for supervising the machine operator? The match Walter, Walter. Eh, oh, teacher, no entendido la mecánica. Yo pensé que iba a elegir a alguien que hiciera la pregunta. Sí, uh, el voluntario que la hace la pregunta y él elige quién le responde. En este caso, él ya le hizo la pregunta y le corresponde a usted dar la respuesta. Who is responsible for... Teacher, pero la respuesta la vamos a tomar en base de arriba del organigrama. ¿verdad? Yeah, that's right. Based on this... Organizational chart. Uh -huh. Este responsibility. Eh, Maintenance chef. Chef.
Who is responsible uh, for supervising the machine operator? Uh, responsible, maintaining chef. Is that right or not? Who has a question is going to tell us if the answer is right or wrong. Quien hace la pregunta nos dirá si la respuesta que le están dando está bien o no. Will you repeat, Walter, your answer? Please. Is responsibility maintenance TF? Mountain Chief. Maintenance Chief. It's Grand Teacher. Ah, okay, no, sorry, sorry, it is okay. It's okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Walter. Okay, somebody else. Okay. Somebody okay, else. Thank you. Volunteer, volunteers. Otro voluntario para la pregunta dos. Only one, no more than. No teacher, no teacher. Okay, who, who say yo? Who is in charge of chef the quality of the products? Okay, repeat again, repeat again. Check. Ah, okay. The, the whole question, please. Who is in charge of check the quality of the products? Mm, something is missing here. Checking. Checking. Yep. Okay, the Checking. whole question again, the whole question. Who is in charge of checking uh, the quality of the products? Okay, to whom? Mm. A quien le, hace, le hace la pregunta? Uh, I pick other level. <laughs> <laughs> vaya pues vaya ok es que para que no se me duerman así es ok one, one moment please ok ah pues sí se me estaba durmiendo <laughs> estaba buscando los lentes para ver las letras ok <laughs> eh, eh, vamos a ver eh, the responsibility is the department quality control inspector. Yes. Is that right? I, I think, I think yes. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's right, okay? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you don't know? I think. Based, based on the organizational chart that we have. Quality control inspector. Quality control inspector. Yes. Okay, somebody else can give a hand. Alguien más les puede dar una manito. Help me. Is right or wrong? Right. Is right? Right. <laughs> okay. Number three. Another volunteer. Me teacher. Okay. 
Tell me. Who is, who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Uh, maintenance chief? Yes. Tiene que elegir quién le va a responder. Yeah, yeah, you have to choose. choose select okay. your, choose your victim. Choose your okay. victim. Okay. Elija la yeah. víctima. <laughs> Para que se despierte. Um, Fausto? Fausto. Hi. Uh, my answers uh, my is personal. My name is personal. Okay, uh, el que hizo la pregunta debe decir si está bien o está mal. La yeah, respuesta. yeah, yeah, that's right. Correct. Okay, uh, before I forgot, I'm going to stop sharing this because I need to tell you something. For tomorrow, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Para mañana, día miércoles, tendremos uh, una tutoría extra después de las 10 de la noche. Ya pues creo que todos lo saben. Y uh, las personas que van a estar En eso serían los primeros cinco de la lista. En este caso sería Rosa Esperanza, Genara Inés, Margarita Stephanie, Karen Yesenia, Ada Daisy Arevalo. Comenzaría con Rosa Esperanza los primeros diez minutos, Genara Inés los siguientes, Margarita los siguientes diez, Karen Yesenia los siguientes diez y... Por último, a Daisy Arevalo, así es que alisten la... Tipo 11 de la noche. Y eso, ah, bueno, es, eso es, de los... es maravilloso. Alisten todas las la dudas que tengan y el día de es para, para reforzar o para qué? Este... Sí, sí, es precisamente para, para aclararle todas sus dudas en, 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 en a private way. Ok. Por si sí, les da sí. pena. ¿Cuál de las dos Gutiérrez? ¿Perdón? ¿Y eso es cuándo? Mañana. Tomorrow. Ni tomorrow. Mañana, ok. Yes. Gutiérrez Mañana. Sánchez. Gutiérrez Sánchez. Por yes. si alguien de los que ha mencionado el teacher no quiere, me avisa y yo me anoto. Vaya, ahí está. That's right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> ok, let me see the time. <laughs> La once. En el grupo de WhatsApp me pueden decir, ahí estamos, y dicen, yo no puedo, y yo veo ahí qué hora es, y me toca a mí conectarme. Ok, let me, let, me, let, me, let me see. Después de la clase, 10 minutos, teacher. Yep. Ok. Y no podemos invertir el tiempo y dejar a, a, a Rosa de Girón de último. No, 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 no. Ok, 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 hold on. I'm going to... <laughs> To take the attendance again, before to finish, I need to take the attendance. Rosa Esperanza, present? Present. Okay, Genara Inés, no? No, present. Okay, Margarita is, is absent. Margarita Stephanie Gutierrez Sanchez. La computadora le sacó, la sacó, ya no pudo ingresar nuevamente, pero sí está. Okay, Karen Yesenia. Yo. 
Okay, Ada Daisy? Present, teacher. Diana? No, so. Wilfredo? No. Leslie Fernandez? Present, teacher. Okay, Francisco Javier? Edward Ademir? Cristian Obdulio? Present. Alexis Antonio? Present teacher. Felicita Cruz. Helen Maria. Ana Roxana. Yes, present. Fausto Antonio. Present. Carla Marielos. Present. Margarita Stephanie. Present. Eliani Alejandra. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. ¿A quién no mencioné? Mi teacher. Your full name, please. A mí, teacher. Me regala el nombre completo. Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro. Rodríguez Molina. Rodríguez Molina. Ok. En su Pero caso... Guardado, ya... En su caso, voy a consultar eh, su situación. Ok, perfecto. Sí, porque los grupos los asignan de 20. Entonces, con usted serían 21, pero voy a consultar a ver qué es lo que sucede. Ok, perfecto. Ok. In order to finish today, Uh, I, I would like to ask you some question based on the topic that we study. No question. Do you have a question? No question. No question. Okay. If you don't have a question, just tell me what did you learn today? De okay. qué hablamos hoy? Tell me in English. Um, organic, 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 organ, <laughs> organizational chart, organization, the company, okay, responsibly, responsibly, responsibilities, uh, responsibilities, uh, uh, captains, uh, the, The managers, uh, los supervisors, supervisor, supervisor, machine operators, uh, operators, my ten, uh, my ten is uh, safety engineers, safety, okay. What else do you remember that we studied today? You form IND after prepositions. Oh, that's a really important topic because you are going to need it. Okay. Could you give me an example using uh, IND after a preposition? Okay. <laughs> It's a general question for everyone. Um, responsible of making of kitchen. No, eat the dinner. No, eating dinner. Responsible. Um, cooking dinner. Ah, okay. Of okay. cooking dinner. Okay, of cooking dinner. 
Nice. Somebody else? Good teacher. Okay, go ahead. Today I learned when I have to use ing after preposition. Okay, and, that's and right. Partner. Could you give and us to, could you give us another example? I'm sorry, will you repeat please? Could you give us an example? I'm sorry, teacher, but I, I don't understand you. Could you give us an example? Nos podría dar un ah, ejemplo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, I no problem. Um, I'm talking about proposition. For example, um, today, after classes, I am going to... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I need to learn to play in guitar. I need to learn. Play guitar. Mm. The proposition is to? Yeah, 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 yeah. To play in guitar. Yeah. How do to play the guitar, okay? Okay, let us do the last exercise that I have here, not the, the rest can uh, participate. Let me see. Okay. I got I got extra exercises. This one is Okay. What about this one? Answer this exercise on gerund after preposition. Can you sleep? You need to choose one of these letters, A or B. What is the right? A. Without snoring. Will you sleep without snoring? Do you know what is the meaning of the word snore? Roncar. Snoring. Yeah. B. Okay, keep in mind. Second, her sister decided letter A or B. Her studies this coming semester. Little B. Against postponing her study, okay? What about number three? Do you think he can give up the smoke or give up smoking? Give up smoking. Give up smoking. Okay. There is a key word in every question that you have to follow. Do you remember that? ¿Cuál es la palabra clave que me va a indicar que, si voy a usar ING? The, pre, the prepositions. Okay. For the reason we need to know we need to learn the preposition, the different kind of preposition that we have in English. Okay, number four, I look forward to hearing or look forward to hear from you soon. I look forward, I look forward to hearing. Good. Mm. Okay. Later on, we are going to see all the answer. Number five, are you used to staying or used to stay up late? Are you used to staying up late? Used to, used to. Used to staying. Stay. 
Spain. 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 Okay. Number six. My father got exhausted after drive or after driving all day. After driving. After driving. Driving. driving okay. Number seven. In spite. In spite of taking of take the long road. We still arrive early to the wedding. Of taking. taking. Of taking. Okay, number eight. I find no sense in complaining or in complaining. 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 The last two. I would like to apologize for treating you in this way or apologize to treat you this way? Which one is the right one? Apologize for treating. Apologize for treating. For treating, right? Treating. 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 Yeah. Okay, number ten, uh, 10, you need to Concentrate to study or concentrate on studying? Concentrate, concentrate on studying. Uh, okay, let, let us see the answer. We got the answer here. Number one, can you sleep with the snoring? snoring? Her sister decided again postponing her study this coming semester. Number three, yeah. do you think he can yeah. give up smoking? smoking. Number four. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Number five. Are you used to staying up late? Number six. My father got exhausted after driving all day. Number seven, in spite of taking the long road, we still arrive early to the wedding. We missed the word wedding, right? Se nos perdió la palabra wedding ahí. What about number eight? I find no sense in complaining. Number nine, I would like to apologize for reading you this way. And the last one, number 10, you need to concentrate on studying. Okay. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Okay, teacher. As a matter of fact, I do my best in order that you can understand the topic. I know that at the beginning is really difficult because sometimes uh, it's hard to understand some words, but I'm trying to speak in a clearly way. Eh, sé que algunas veces es muy complicado tal vez poder entender todo el 100% de palabras, pero eh, Estamos en un proceso, me voy adaptando así despacio con ustedes para irles ayudando de la mejor forma. Al final, todo lo que sienten difícil hoy será fácil, pero les motivo a que sigamos adelante y llegará el momento en el que pues tendremos las habilidades para podernos comunicar de la mejor forma. No sé si tienen alguna consulta o pregunta. Before we leave. Teacher. Teacher. No question. No question. Okay. I do really appreciate your staying in my class. Thank you very much. Try to go to sleep early. 
Uh, so now we finish. And because we are going to be here tomorrow, right? And I already mentioned the five people that are going to be here with me until midnight. Ya mencioné quienes vamos a estar hasta la medianoche del día de mañana, ¿correcto? Okay. Okay. No me lo, per no me lo pierdo. <laughs> okay. Y, y con lo que me mencionó es Leslie Fernández, estoy ahí pendiente de poderles ayudar. Even uh, though you know that this is an English class and I try to speak only English, but sometime uh, maybe I'm going to clarify something if you ask me questions about the topic. But don't worry if at the beginning you don't understand exactly everything that I said. Tan pronto el tiempo va pasando y vamos estudiando los manuales, iremos aprendiendo más vocabulario y cómo producir los sonidos de cada una de las palabras. Y es importante que, par que participemos en las clases. Tell me. I have a question. Okay. Um, bueno, no lo puedo decir en inglés. Okay, este, no. Respecto no. A, a los videos de YouTube que ah, se suben, okay. yo busqué a, ahora uno porque ayer se, se me hizo difícil entrar a la clase y buscaba ver el de la clase de ayer, pero no lo encontré todavía. Este, Si gusta, nos no puede, cuando tenga tiempito, darnos un, una indicación de cómo encontrarlos de forma ordenada para poder repasar. Ok, perfecto. Así se hará. Ok, gracias. So, María, ¿alguien más tiene alguna consulta o pregunta before we leave? Please, teacher, if okay. you can help us to get information about the homework. Ah, ok, yeah, yeah. Let's... Tomorrow I'm going to try to to make a, a tutorial video yeah. and I'm going to share it in, in the WhatsApp group in order, that okay. you can, in order that you can do it. Okay. okay Thank you very care. much. I do really good appreciate evening. it. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good See night. you tomorrow. Good Bye. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. See Bye. you tomorrow. Bye. See you. See you.